In this video, we are going to see with an example how to compute the zero state response of a system given an input. We consider the initial state to be zero and we see how the system behave when we have a input XT. And we have learned from the previous video in the lecture that when the impulse response of a system is known, the output of the system is the convolution between the input with the impulse response. And this is defined for causal system 0 to t, x2 times h t minus 2, and then differentiate by 2. And we know xt, xt in our case is equal to e in the power of minus t, ut, and then ht has the same value as e minus t, ut. So the problem now is just to compute the convolution integral. In this case, we have zero t, and we replace x by e minus two, h by e minus minus t minus two delta two. And we can see if we open up inside minus two minus t plus two d two and two goes away. What we have is the integral over t of e minus t d two, which gives two e minus t from zero to t, which is t e t and then u t as quotient. This is how to solve the integral and we have the zero state response here. Other ways to use it is to look at the convolution integral table. And in our case, we are in this situation here where we have E minus T, E minus T, in this case, lambda equal to minus one. And therefore, the output is just T, E lambda T, U T, which is T, E minus T, U T. So using the table, you can directly compute some of the output without solving the integral. Thank you very much for watching.